Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the last video in the series AZ900 with Piyush. In the previous 22 videos, we have covered everything that you need to know about Azure fundamentals, especially the concept. There were some demos, there were some amazing animations, and I hope the concept would have been cleared by now. If you are viewing this video for the first time, uh, then make sure you watch the complete playlist before that because this video is just a refresher of what's been done so far and it will give you some recap about what's been done but make sure you watch the complete playlist before that so without any further ado let's get into that all right so let's start with the video physical infrastructure security whether it is physical host physical network or physical servers it's always azure's responsibility to take care of those and user and the cloud user wouldn't have to worry about for example if you look at this below comparison diagram so it is clearly mentioned what comes under azure's responsibility and what comes under customer's responsibility and what comes under the shared responsibility model so if you look at the last three diagrams if you look at the last three lines physical host, physical network, physical data center, any of those would always be Microsoft responsibility. I have described this in detail in the AZ900 playlist. So make sure to watch the complete video and you will get uh, the complete picture of what I'm talking. The next one is access to underlying operating system. So in only in IAS infrastructure as a service, you will get access to the underlying operating system and in PaaS and SaaS, you won't get that access. All the comparison has been given over here. You can take the screenshot and read through it or feel free to watch the video as part of AZ900 playlist. It's everything is described in detail. Now let's talk about when it comes to a service uh, which needs high bandwidth and dedicated network between on-premises and Azure. We use Azure Express Route in that case. So make sure to understand the difference between VPN gateway and Express Route. And uh, this is the costly solution. But at the same time, it provides you high bandwidth and a dedicated network between your on-prem and Azure. The next one is if uh, there is a keyword in the question which says you need to have a production ready server um, with isolated environment, you know, that can be provisioned with fewer possible steps. So answer is Azure Marketplace, which is a service in uh, which the third party vendors provide a custom image with some pre-built infrastructure already installed. And you just have to subscribe to that and pay for those services to Azure as well as there is some portion that vendor takes from the bill. Right? So there is a dedicated video for this as well. So whatever I am discussing over here, there is a separate video for that in AZ900 playlist. Make sure you go through all of those before uh, you are doing this video as this is just a recap of what's been already done. It's like a cheat sheet exam cram that you can just have a look before going to exam. The next one is if there is a service with says you need to implement infrastructure as a code for Azure that you can use to launch infrastructure using some reusable code templates. Then the answer is ARM templates. Azure resource manager templates and Azure Bicep, which is a newer service that uh, can be viewed as an extension of ARM or an improved version of ARM. Okay, if the question talks about the multi-cloud resource management capabilities, then answer is Azure Arc. This is a new service like introduced a couple of years back, but this is uh, important to know. Then uh, when the question talks about minimizing administrative efforts, then answer is either PaaS or SaaS because in IES, user usually takes care of all the administrative tasks such as server patching, upgrade um, and all those things. But in PaaS and SaaS, it is taken care by Microsoft and Azure. IAM policies and permissions can be applied at all levels of resource hierarchy. Uh, what I mean by that is you can apply policies and permissions roles in all those levels like either at root management group, subscription level, resource group level or even at the individual resources. Okay, when it comes to connecting to virtual crowd network with on-premises with the lowest possible cost, you no, know, the service that you use is VPN gateway. It does not provide you a dedicated network, but it helps you provide an encrypted IPsec VPN tunnel through which you can connect your on-premises network to the Azure virtual network through an encrypted tunnel. Uh, for cost estimation, Azure provides you a service called Azure pricing calculator. There is another service which is total cost of ownership. So make sure to understand the difference between these two. ECO or total cost of ownership 
uh, focuses on the estimated saving cost when you move from your on-premises to cloud. However, the pricing calculator calculates the estimated cost of your resources that you're going to provision in Azure. So understand the difference between those two. When there is a requirement to host static website on Azure and and or uh, for static content storage then the service that you would use is azure blob storage azure provide two container based services in azure a container based services in azure are mostly azure container instances or azure kubernetes services there are some other as well such as azure web app especially the flexible web app part uh, it provides you capabilities to host your containers on that so you know try to understand those points as well and there are several ways through which you can interact with azure such as you can do it via tli azure cloud shell which is built within the azure portal and it provides you capability to choose from azure powershell or azure bash script or azure bash shell and you can also use azure portal to interact with the azure resource so that's it for this video folks i hope this video was somewhat beneficial as always as my previous videos uh, if it added some value make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here if you have any question any comments or any feedback whatsoever please let me know in the comment section and i will try to incorporate that in my upcoming videos um i will be starting a series on azure devops it will be a full course with the concept and thus there's gonna be some cool animations and there'll be demos there'll be some real-time projects so make sure you watch that if you want to familiarize with the ci cd in azure devops and how it works in real time so uh, i'll take your leave for now but uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon with the next video